Hey everybody, welcome to Monumental. My name is Elliot Morgan and today we are deciding the Mount Rushmore of 90s sitcoms. I mean, that's what I'm bringing. Oh, you have no soul. <laughs> Not the beast! Sitcoms, Nicolas Cage movies, Disney villains. And joining us today from youtube.com slash Mike Falzone. It's Mike Falzone, everybody. Elliot. And also, this girl right here operated the roller coaster in the opening credits of Step by Step. It's Shane and Coffee, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Please don't be intimidated. Continue to watch the video. I'm just like you. All right, guys. So we uh, put our heads together and we came up with a list of contenders for the Mount Rushmore of 90 sitcoms. Now we're doing like, like actual sitcoms. We're talking laugh tracks. We're not talking animated. There's not going to be any Simpsons. So our contenders are Seinfeld. Friends, Frasier, Roseanne, Married with Children, Full House, Boy Meets World, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. All right, so we're gonna whittle this down to the Mount Rushmore of 90s sitcoms. Any uh, standouts for you guys? I feel like Seinfeld's not a thing that you could just put on a mountain and just say, hey, Seinfeld, there's a spot. There needs to be some elaboration behind this. Oh, I see You can watch saying. every episode of Seinfeld now, and they would be just as funny as they were back when I didn't understand how Elaine's hair worked. Uh, it's a special place in my heart for friends, you know? Sure. All those people, the friendship. I know that I spent so many days just being like, I hope I have friends someday. And then I live in New York and get to go to Central Perk. Best name for a coffee shop. You just moved here from New York. So you were living the yeah. life out there. Did How close to reality did that come for you? It was just like <laughs> the show. People were always laughing at me and people were always trying to like negotiate how much money I should be getting. Yeah. for each season of my life. And you were yeah. like, oh, I'm only making as much money as my friends. Yeah, and if I'm not, then we got an issue. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just realized, and this is full transparency right now, this is a real moment that uh, it's called Central Perk because it sounds like Central Park. You know, coffee at Central Perk. Oh, I just got that. What about any weak weaklings? Here's what used to happen with me and Frasier. I used to watch Frasier, kind of into it, even though I didn't understand any of the adult problems. And then it would go to commercial, and then I would totally forget what I was watching. <laughs> and then it would come back, and I was like, oh, Frasier, I guess I got 20 more minutes. Move aside, Voltaire. Step back into the shadows, H.L. Macon, there's a new kid in town. As, as much as I know, I think you love this I show. I swear to God, I swear to God, Mike. If Boy Meets World Boy Meets World sucks. No. Boy Meets it World sucks. It should have never been on that list, 100%. I feel like you guys never watched Boy Meets World. No, I Only watched it so probably. I could check out Ryder Strong and be like, ooh, yeah, baby. But the rest of it was like getting shot in the face. It was With so what? painful. With charm? Ben this Savage, school. charm, charm of poop. He sucks. Charm of poop? Yeah. yeah. That's not a phrase, Shannon. It is now. Congratulations! You've killed my spirit! We have Boy Meets World on, on that list and we don't have Saved by the Bell. I'm gonna call the cops. I'll pull a gun right now. Citizens <clears throat> arrest. Chill, 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 okay, chill. I just, do you agree though? Not about the gun stuff, but about <laughs> everything else for sure. Okay, the things we can all agree on going on Mount Rushmore is Friends and Seinfeld. For sure. Off the list, Boy Meets World, as well as Frasier, two shows that are near and dear to my heart. All right, so we still have a bunch of great shows on the list, but there are two that we're gonna single out right now, that is Roseanne and Married with Children. Both like blue collar, working class, family sitcoms, and the way we're gonna settle it is via debate. Here's how this is gonna work. You guys are each gonna take a sitcom. Mike, you're gonna take Married with Children. Shannon, you're gonna take Roseanne. You're each gonna have 10 seconds to make a case for it. Mike, Married with Children, go. Lyrics in the theme song, first and foremost. Al Bundy was the everyman. Al Bundy was the son of a plumber, Dusty Rhodes type man, okay? And he had a horrible job. And I felt how horrible his job was and I was 12 and I understood the story that perfectly. Didn't get any of the sex jokes though. And that was 10, ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that close Fatty enough ten. to 10 seconds? I can't convince Great anyone argument. of anything in 10 seconds. <laughs> Great argument, Mike. All right, now Shannon, 10 seconds on the clock to argue for Roseanne. And go. Okay, so this is like the first time a strong female lead like didn't look like a perfect model and she was like killing with her like blah look. Uh, you have the iconic like ha 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 laugh. That's so Roseanne. Uh, John Goodman's in it, <laughs> duh. And those kids were like pretty perky. Per -per -per Pretty quirky. No, I said pretty quirky, but you know what? Take it off. We're striking it, it from the I'm record. not gonna pull a mic. I understand that I had 10 seconds. How many seconds. minutes did I go for? You had five. So great arguments on both sides, you guys. Now, the way we're gonna break this is I'm gonna decide who had the best 10 second argument. The one out of the two that should go on Mount Rushmore is without a doubt, Roseanne. 
gotta be Roseanne. Is without yeah. a doubt Roseanne? Yeah, it's yeah. without a doubt Roseanne. You're Absolutely. just trying to get me back for all that boy meat stuff. Oh no, that'll happen way later in a way more passive aggressive manner. All right, Roseanne, I love you. You're going on Mount Rushmore. Sorry, Bundys. Married with Children did not make the cut. All right, so so far on Mount Rushmore, we have Seinfeld, Friends, and Roseanne. The two remaining sitcoms are Full House and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Personally, I'm very torn here. There's just like so many things, like Fresh Prince, so neon, you know? It's like my personality attaches to that. But then Full House has all those great sayings, like how rude mm -hmm. and like cut it out. Like, I can't say no to that. Uh. Mercy. Let me tell you a little about Fresh Prince. Um, Please do. Perfect theme song, okay? Oh, yeah. Fresh Prince had a perfect theme song. And and also, I'll say this for, for Full House, because I'm also very emotionally invested in Full House. I've never cried at an episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You cried at, at Full House? Yeah, when Comet got lost. Whoa, Comet, come back! But I will say though, there is one episode of Fresh Prince where you, people cry. There's this one scene, you can look it up and you will cry. Okay. It's Uncle Phil and Will talking about his dad and like his abandonment issues. How come you don't want me, man? Did you know that right now Will Smith is the same age as Uncle Phil was when they started the show? Aww. He looks so good though. He does and he's way thinner for sure. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Vote Full House or Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. One, two, three, four. Fresh House. Prince. Oh, I knew that you guys are gonna go full house, so I just wanted to say like Will Smith, like let me in. Let me into your heart. Yeah, let her in. Yeah, so well, seems fair I was there for you, baby. Not that uh, we weren't there for you, baby. You, you weren't there for him. You chose, you chose, you know, Bob Saget. So there you have it, folks. The Mount Rushmore of 90 sitcoms, Seinfeld, Friends, Roseanne, and Full House. I'm breaking out! All right, thank you to my guests for joining me today. Mike, where can anybody find you uh, on the internet or elsewhere? Just look up Mike Falzone and uh, don't put the space in the middle of the two words and then you'll find me everywhere I am. Perfect, and Shannon, where can folks find you? Uh, if you wanna find me, you just, you know, find Mike first and through Mike you can find me. We're internet friends and he loves promoting me. Uh, he's kind of obsessed with me. Hashtag Shane Kong. Also let us know in the comments what we left off of the list of contenders as well as what you think should have been on the Mount Rushmore of 90 sitcoms. I can think of one right off the top of my head. Also let us know what we should debate next on Monumental. Thanks for joining us, I'm Elliot Morgan. Shane and Coffee. It's Mike Falzone. Shane and Coffee. Uh, I'll be straight up with you guys. If Full House had not made the list and Boy Meets World had not made the list and Frasier had not made the list, this would have been the we season finale. Yeah. I we got Tumpy's good. Uh, there was a finger there. It's like, yeah. dude, it's yeah. not about you. Calm down. Yeah, it's, it's about Corey. It's never and about Topanga. Corey. The only thing that was about Corey was horrible, and that was Boy Meets World.